All right, everybody, welcome back to class. Uh, this hour is a uh, beginning vocabulary hour, and we are going to be talking about uh, job activities, okay? The, uh, the link that uh, you all can go to is here in the chat box. Go ahead and uh, open that up, and, uh, and, and you'll, you'll see a whole bunch of flashcards and things like that. Okay? So what uh, what we do in uh, in my vocabulary classes for be beginners is uh, we take a look at the, the words that are in the list, okay, and uh, we discuss what the word w would mean, and we also discuss if there are any other meanings that we could use for the word, okay. So uh, if there if there are other uh, Idioms or phrasal verbs that we could use using that word, uh, we uh, we discussed those as well. Okay, uh, let's see who we have here in class so far. Um, how about uh, Thomas? How are you? Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, hello. Uh, I am Thomas. Hi. Great, Thomas. Uh, you're from Hungary. Okay, yes. great. Awesome. Well, welcome to class. Good to have you here. Yes. I'm here. All right, and uh, Mehmet, how are you? Uh, hi, my friend. Thank you. I am from Turkey. I live in Istanbul. Great, great. Good to have you here in class. Thank you so much, man. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, how about uh, Jessica? How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Great. Jessica, where are you from? I'm from Brazil, Salvador. Great. So you're from Brazil. Wonderful. Welcome to class. Thank you. All right. How about uh, Francisco? How are you? Hi. I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, I, li I like your your video in the YouTube about uh, hamburgers. <laughs> I I watched that. I think I watched that even today. I've watched that so many times. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. It is so so funny. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> it's me. It's me uh, talking. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Oh, good. Yes, yes. Me too. Oh, good. Yeah. If you guys, uh, if you have not seen the video, let me see if I could grab it real quick. I'll post it in the uh, chat box. It is, oh man, it's way too funny. Uh, so <laughs> it's right, it's right here. This is the uh, video that we're talking about. Yeah, check it out if you want to. It's it's really funny. Uh, awesome. Thank you, Francisco. All right. How about uh, uh, Burku? How are you? Hi, I am Burju. Burju. Oh. Uh, is it Burju or Burju? Burju, okay. And where are you from? Uh, I am from Turkey, in Istanbul. Great, great. Well, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, how about uh, uh, Badir? Hello. Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Great. Great, good to have you here in class. Um, Bader, where are you from? I'm from Morocco, in the south of Morocco. Great, great. Well, good to have you here in class. Thank you very much. All right, how about uh, Abida? Abida, are you there? Hi there, um, nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Uh, Abida, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Morocco as well. I, I am from the University of Mohammed V English section. I've assisted some of your courses and I'm joining you today in this course. Awesome. Well, welcome welcome to class. Thank you. All right. How about uh, Halwani? How are you? Hello, Chad. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Thank you for asking. I hope uh, that you are doing really good because uh, the last in the last uh, yeah I had I had an a emergency that I had to go uh, take care of with my with my wife and kids uh, everyone's okay they just needed me to be there um, and yeah so I had I had to go uh, I had to go take care of uh, 
some things with the school and, and yeah, so uh, I had to I had to miss last hour, so I do apologize. But yeah, everything's fine. No one's hurt or anything like that. But yeah, I had to I had to run and do that real quick. Okay, okay. Cool. Well, uh, thank you for asking. Uh, um, let's see. Let's go to uh, Jane. How are you, Jane? Hi, Chad. I'm fine. I'm doing. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Welcome, uh, welcome back to class. Thank you. Great. Okay. Let's see. Did I miss anybody? Um, uh, Tablas made it in. How are you doing, Tablas? Oh, thank you. Great. Welcome back to class. How are you, Chad? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. All right. So um, the uh, link uh, to the uh, class that we are, or the uh, words that we're going to be going over, I'm going to put uh, in the chat box once again. Okay. Uh, if you decide to hang out in the Google chat, I'll put it there for you as well. Okay. And let's uh, let's go ahead and, and get started. We're going to start off over on the left-hand side with uh, Abida, okay? And what, yeah. we'll do, what we'll do is we'll uh, read through, uh, through these words. We'll go one word at a time, and we'll talk about the word, talk about other ways we can use the word, and things like that. So uh, everybody, if you have an idea, just go ahead and shout it out, okay? And I'll, I'll try and get around to everybody, and we'll write the answers and our thoughts in, in the box, okay? Okay, so let me uh, let me go to screen share real quick. When you open up the uh, link, this is what you're going to see. Okay, so we yeah. have a whole bunch of whole bunch of different words. Uh, I'll zoom in. Okay, and uh, so this hour we're we're talking about uh, job activities. Okay, so uh, different jobs we can do, and uh, we we uh, um, a lot of these are are verbs. Okay, and uh, and we'll we'll uh, talk about the different ways we can use them as well. So uh, first word here. Okay, Abida, go ahead and read that and uh, tell us what's going on here in this picture. Uh, act right. Yes. Mm, okay. So um, yeah. What's going on? What's going on here? Um, like uh, act. What what is acting? Yeah, so acting. Um, what? Uh, where are the different places where we see acting? Well, acting uh, can be on the stage, on uh, like uh, theater, series, Good. films, movies, and stage, such stage, theater. Okay, uh, series, cinema, and movies, movies. Yeah. Okay, uh, TV. Okay, uh, TV or series uh, would be uh, similar. Okay, so those those are the main places we can act, right? Yes. Okay. Now, what uh, what what if we say um, don't act stupid? Okay, have you heard that before? Don't act stupid. Yes. Okay, or uh, don't act like you don't know what's going on. Okay, so what if you hear these type of phrases? What would those mean? What do you guys think? Like an uh, attitude. An attitude. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm if I'm uh, pretending like I don't know what's going on, okay, um, uh, or maybe you are oblivious. Oblivious means that uh, that something could be happening right in front of you. And you say, nope, it doesn't exist, okay? So if you act like nothing is going on, okay, that sometimes can be a bad thing, okay? Okay. okay. Um, how, else, how else have you guys heard the word act used? Okay. How about who are the people that, uh, that uh, do the acting? What are they called? Actors. Actors, good. What about the the women? Actress. Yes, actress. Okay. And uh, and what about the uh, the people that uh, you see in the background? Let's see if you're uh, if you're watching a TV show 
or a movie. Okay, you see a lot of people in the in the background. Does anyone know what they are called? Audience. Uh, what was that? I heard audience, and then I heard something else. Spectacle. Okay, spectacle. the spectacle. Okay, we have a special word for them. Okay, they're called extras. Okay, the extras. Okay, those oh, are the dear. people that you see walking in the background in the TV show. Okay, so if the two main characters are talking to you, to each other and someone walks behind them, that person would be called uh, an extra. Okay, so those are the those are the 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 the, uh, um, the other people, the extra people in uh, in movies and TV. Okay, um, what else? If we're if we're uh, acting, what uh, what type of uh, uh, words are related to acting? Okay, what do they read? How, what do they read the words from? It's not a book. Like a scenario? Uh, a scenario, okay. We're, we're close. It's another word that starts with an S. A script. Yes, Fran said it. That is a script. Okay. All right, very good. Yes, they read. They read the dialogue or the scenarios off of a script. Okay. Um, what else? So, if you are you are at a theater, and uh, what helps create an illusion, okay, uh, of some sorts? Okay. Uh, if you don't have these, it will always be dark. It will be dark on stage unless you have these these items that start with the word L. Lighters. Okay. Uh, lights. Yes. Lights, okay. Lighters would be uh, um, would be like lighting a cigarette. That would be a lighter, yes. okay. But lights, okay, are, are like light bulbs. We call those lights. Francis spotlights. Yes, spotlight would go, and it would and it would put a light right on the main actor, okay. And you can have a light that does this and then goes really big, okay. That's a that's a, a spotlight. Okay. So yes, you need you need lights. Okay, and if you are are filming a movie or a TV show, what kind of equipment would you need? Camera. A camera. Great. Okay, that was uh, uh, Mehmet. So uh, a yeah. camera. A mic says Aisha. Okay, a mic or a microphone. Uh, what's what was that? you yes uh, did you uh, did you say something <laughs> what uh, what else would we need if we're we're filming uh, say that one more time <laughs> oh that was in Turkish yeah yeah sorry <laughs> <laughs> I explained her gotcha so, uh, uh, costumes, yes, we would need costumes, Nina. Um, Mike, uh, camera and uh, mic. So, you would use a camera to film the movie and a microphone to pick up what the uh, actors are saying. Okay, a microphone records the sound. Okay. Very cool. All right. Uh, awesome. We've uh, we've talked about uh, acting and and uh, in these uh, in the different words that we could use with it. Okay. Great, you guys. Um, let's go to our next word. And this will this will be for Bader. Okay. Uh, what's going on right here? Bake. He's baking cake. Bake. Bake. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, so this E at the end is silent. We would not say Baki. I'm um, sorry, say, but I have a little question about this. Uh, yes, what's your question? Um, it's, uh, it's written bake. Uh, is it a verb or a noun of uh, the work? Um, it, it would only be a, a verb. Okay. okay. Um, so yes. what is called... The, the person who who makes it would be called a baker, and that would be a noun, baker. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
okay uh, but yes to bake okay would be to uh, to make something now uh, now what kind of what kind of things do we bake okay we cook certain foods and we bake certain foods okay what uh, what how do we bake something or what kind of things yes we bake bread 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 okay pizza. bread uh, pizza okay. is baked as well so so are you telling me when we open up an oven and we put something inside and we close it up that is baking right that would be baking if we put it on top of the stove in a pot that would be cooking all right, so there's the okay. difference. Inside the oven, you put something inside and you close it up. That is bake. Okay? And then uh, on top of the stove with the heaters or with the fire, okay, that would be cook. All right, so Bruno here says cookies. Cookies are my favorite. I love chocolate chip cookies. Those are my favorite. Yes, Guillermo says cake. Mmm, I love cake too. Nice. Yum. Pie as well. Yes, you can uh, bake. You can bake a pie. Okay, apple pie. That's my favorite. What's your favorite type of pie? Apple pie is mine. Like pie is like a uh, cake. That's pie. Um, uh, but a pie has a uh, fruit. Okay, um, and it's and it's going to be a little bit more uh, gooey. So let's look at this. Okay, so. Uh, so let me uh, let me uh, get show you some pictures, okay? All right. So this is going to be a pie. Okay. So you see how inside, okay, it's going to be soft, like, and you can put fruit there. Okay, you have fruit here as well. Okay. Like a These are what pies look like, and it and it's a filling. So uh, underneath here, okay, you can lift this top off, okay, and there's going to be filling inside, filling like fruit or cream, things like that. Okay, that is a pie. Okay. Now, if we talk about cake, all right, I'm sure most people know what uh, cakes look like, but let's uh, let's grab a picture, cake. Mmm, cake. All right, cake is mostly bread. Okay, so you see how on the inside, this is bread, and it's not gooey. Okay, there's not a filling. It's mostly bread. So that is the difference between, or the main difference, between a cake and a pie. Does that make sense? Desserts. Yeah. Yes, and they are all desserts. Okay, now let's... Uh, let's Let's talk about that word, okay? So we have we have two words here. I'm going to type them in the chat box. This is this word here is dessert. If it shows up, okay. Yes, there we go. That word is dessert. Okay, with the accent at the end. That means pie. Okay, that means cake, cookies. Okay, anything with sugar. Mmm, sugar. All right, so. Dessert, the accent at the end, dessert. Okay, now if we talk about desert, desert is like the Sahara, the Sahara Desert, okay, with sand. Okay, so let's uh, let's look at this, okay? So we have two different, uh, different spellings. Class, this is dessert with the accent at the end, da da, dessert, okay? If we go to desert with the accent at the beginning, data, desert, this is a desert. Uh, here we go. This is desert. Okay? So it has sand and it's really hot. All right? So it's important that when we are talking about food, okay, with sugar and things like that and bread, we say dessert and not desert. Okay, dessert. Okay, now what other type of things can we bake? We've talked about yes, not good for not good for eating. You should not eat sand. 
<laughs> All right. Um, okay. Uh, what other things can we can we bake? Okay, we've talked about uh, some bread, pizzas, cakes, pies, cookies. Okay, what else do we put in the oven to bake? Bun cake. Bun cake. Um, pancakes would be would be made on top. We would we would uh, make or cook pancakes. Okay, and that's that's made on top. Okay. Can we say chicken? Uh, yes, you can. You can bake chicken. Okay, if you put it inside the oven, but if it's on top of the stove, you are cooking chicken. All right, or frying chicken. If you use a lot of oil, that would be frying chicken. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. So um, um, pasta. You would cook pasta. You would not. Um, you would not uh, uh, bake it. Okay, because pasta you put in a pot. And, you, and it has water there, okay? Amparo says turkey. Yes, we would bake a turkey. Okay, yes, we bake pizza. Okay, um, if you put it in the oven, if you put it in the microwave, okay, that, that would mean you are heating up, or we call that nuking. Okay, if you put something in the microwave, we, we say nuking. Okay, so you can nuke, nuke, which, uh, uh, because we use radiation to heat it up, all right, that's a microwave. You, we nuke it, all right, and it's slang, okay? Lasagna, yes, Nina, you can bake lasagna, okay, because it goes in a dish and you put it inside the oven. Um, bake and roast, um, bake and roast, okay, so uh, bake, bake is going to be. Uh, inside of an oven. Okay. Now let me let me show you some pictures here so you can uh, uh, effectively see what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, let's take a look at an oven. Okay. And then I'll show you a uh, 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 a roast. Okay. A uh, pot roast. Okay. And it's a it's a certain it's another type of pot. So if you bake something. Okay, just like this, you put it inside, okay, inside the oven, okay, this right here is the oven, up top is the stove, we cook right here, and we bake inside here, that's baking, okay, um, now if we pot roast, Mm, that's delicious. It's not going to show me the machine to do it. Okay. Um, when we roast something, uh, let's see. There's there's two meanings for, for this. Ah, it's not going to show me. Um, let me let me see. Okay, so you see this right here. Okay, uh, this is the the type of it's a pot. Okay, but that's how you would roast it. Okay, um, and it's and it's usually heated from the bottom, and you cook it very very slowly. All right, that's the difference. The other way, the other way is to use the word roast. Yes, I'm hungry as well. Okay, let me. Uh, um, uh, the other way to use the word roast is uh, uh, like marshmallows. Okay, um, so you would actually stick something in the fire. Okay, this is called roasting as well. So you stick it in the fire and it gets completely burned, just like that. That's called roasting marshmallows. All right, so it's it's similar, but uh, but just just a li a little different. Okay, sometimes you can put a roast inside of the of the oven but it, it, you, it you let it cook there for a long time okay so that that's a, that's the the difference and usually there's there's a machine that does it and that's called a, a uh, pot roast okay uh, a machine that does that that heats it up and cooks it slowly so it's just a little bit different than bake okay um, okay uh, let's go to uh, our our next word and this is for uh, now uh, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong it's virtu virgu no, bird, birdju. 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 Bird, birdju. Yes. That's a difficult one. That's a, that's really difficult. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, let's see. Burju. Okay. Um, let's go to this word right here. So, Burju, what is going on right here? Bank teller. Okay, teller. that would be bank. Bank teller. Bank, bank teller. Good. Yeah, so let's uh, let's look at another picture of what this would be because that one's not not really good. Okay, but uh, okay, when we go to the bank, there is a person that assists you. Okay, and they are the person that stand behind the counter. Okay, and just like this lady's doing. Okay, and uh, maybe here as well. Okay, uh, but they stand behind a counter, and they are called bank tellers. Okay, so that is a uh, a specific job at the at the bank. Okay, uh, do you know of any other jobs that you can do at the bank? Mm, exchange money. Okay, you can change money. Yes, exchange or change it. Currency exchange. Yep, currency exchange. Excellent. What other jobs can you do at the bank? Paychecks. What is it called when you uh, when you ask for money from the bank and that you pay back slowly? A credit. Okay, those are called loans. Count my money. Um, yes, you can. You can go and, and count your money there. Um, but if yes, good, Ahmad, that is called a loan. Okay. And so when you go in and uh, and you ask uh, ask for money, okay, they have people that are called loan officers. Okay, loan officers. Yes, to loan would be to borrow. Okay, so you're borrowing money from the bank, and the people that help you at the bank. Uh, to do that are called loan officer officers. Okay, they uh, they if you are buying a house, okay, you would get what's called a mortgage. Mortgage. That's how we pronounce that. The T is silent. The T is silent. We do not say mortgage. It's mortgage. Mortgage. Okay. Um, and we would also have the manager at the bank. The manager um, would run everything that's going on there. Okay, so we have bank tellers. Okay, those are the people that you normally talk to when you go to a bank. All right, let's go to our next word because we don't have any any other uses for uh, bank teller here. All right, how about uh, let's see? I think Halwani is my next person here. Okay, Halwani, okay. Uh, what's going on right here? Blow dry. Okay, yes, that's blow dry. Blow dry. Okay. Now, um, uh, and this is mainly for uh, for the uh, females here. Um, who would you go to to cut and blow dry your hair? Call for. Uh, say that again. Crawford. Yes, so uh, someone would, that would cut your hair, okay? They are called uh, hair stylists or a hairdresser as well. Okay, hair stylists, hairdresser. Okay, uh, yes, um, Otto, a beauty salon. Okay, now what, uh, what, what kinds of equipment uh, when you need, what would you need to uh, to uh, um, work at a, uh, a a beauty salon? Okay, so if you're going to cut someone's hair, what what are those things called that cut? Like a skizer. Ah, very close. They're called scissors. Okay, like that. Scissors. Ah, uh, yes, a hairdresser. Okay, they're called scissors. Those that cut, those things that cut, scissors. Okay, that C at the beginning is silent. Okay, give me one second. Okay, place of happiness for women, Aitung <laughs> says. That's that's funny. Uh, okay, to trim. 
Okay, when you trim, you take off a little, a little bit, just, just barely. Okay, that is to trim. Okay, you cut a little bit of your hair. Okay, now um, you could, you could uh, say, cut it all off. Okay, and that means you want a lot taken off. Teacher, I okay. have a question. Sure. Uh, to trim is both for men and women, or just um, for men? It, it would be it would be mainly for for women. Oh, for women. Yeah, you, uh, mm. that's what you mainly would say. Um, like uh, right now, I need to go get a haircut. My hair is uh, is getting long, okay, and uh, and so I would say. Um, uh, cut the sides short, okay, and cut a little bit off the top. So I wouldn't necessarily tr say trim, okay. Uh, I could say trim. It's not really a uh, female or a male word. Uh, either way is fine. But for the most part, uh, women say trim, okay. They would go to the hairdresser to get a trim. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Um, how else? Uh, how else? Or what other things would we need at uh, at the the uh, beauty salon or the uh, barber shop? Okay, men men usually go to barber shops. Okay, that's where we, that's where we get our hair cut. Okay. Oh, trimmer or clippers. Good. Yeah, that's that machine. It makes that sound. And it kind of cuts through your hair. All right. Uh, yes, a razor. Okay, a razor would be good to have. Okay. Uh, Maybe. How about, what's a that? hair dryer. Uh, a hair dryer. Yes, uh, a hair dryer or a hair um, uh, a blow dryer is what they call that that as well. So a hair dryer. Whoops. Hair dryer. Okay. Or blow dryer. Okay, would be uh, another word for it. Okay. The comb. And there, that's what I was waiting for. Who said comb? Ramsey. How do I? Okay, Hanwani. Okay, so yes, uh, you'd need a comb. Okay, for for a man, you would use a comb. Uh, for for a, a female, you would use a brush. Okay, and that would kind of move move things out of the way. You know, a brush for your hair. Good. Okay. Could you, could you spell the comb? Uh, yes, comb is with a B at the end. Okay, comb. Could you write that? What's that? Could you write that? Uh, yes, I did. It's it's in there twice. It's in so the we, chat box. We can say hairstylist. Uh, yes, you can say hairstylist. Okay, uh, I used to, um, um, when I played music full time, I had a hairstylist that I went to so that I could have the latest and most fashionable hairdo, right? But uh, um, I, don't, uh, I don't do that anymore because they were really expensive <laughs> as well, right? And so you get uh, a fashionable hairdo by going to a hairstylist. Now I go to a barber <laughs> and uh, we get a, a nice easy cut and it's done. Okay, um, I saw another one here, hairspray. Oh, whoops, it's not called scissor hairspray. Sorry, I was writing another word. Um, hair, uh, hairspray, there we go. Hairspray, okay, yes, a barber's chair. Okay, if you are, a, uh, if you go to a uh, um, hair salon or a beauty shop or a barber shop, okay, you will need a, uh, a barber's chair. Okay, those are pretty typical. Okay, they raise up and down, raise up and down, okay. Um, yes, they use, uh, it, it wouldn't be called hair wax, okay. Um, you can call it uh, a styling, styling cream, okay, um, as well as mousse. And I think mousse is spelled like that. It's a French word, so, you know, beats beats me. I don't, I don't use mousse, so I'm not exactly sure. Um, Fixing cream, yeah, um, uh, to have it stay in stay in place. Okay, okay good. Parfum. What's that? Parfum. Um, 
perf did you say perfume or yes I said perfume okay yeah so perfume you can definitely uh, 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 spray some perfume so that you smell good afterwards okay that's good all right cool Nail all right let's polish. go Nail ah, polish. yes if you're if you're a woman and you're going to get your nails done yes, okay you would wear nail polish okay good okay and in some places you may hear someone say I'm going so let me type this in here I'm going to the salon to get my nails did okay uh, get your nails did or my hair did okay and that's obviously bad bad grammar but uh, not die but did okay that means you're getting your hair cut uh, or your nails polished okay my nails my nails did or my my uh, um, hair did that should be nails I apologize Alexis should be nails instead of nail nails um, yes so like a manicure or something okay uh, let's uh, let's move on to our next uh, our next one yes yeah you got your nails did nice job Jessica just like that fingernails yeah that's what uh, fingernails mean oh, I apologize I didn't <laughs> yes uh, Alexis those are fingernails we call them nails as well I, I apologize I didn't explain that I thought uh, I thought you <laughs> <laughs> That's my bad. My my bad. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's go to uh, our next word here. All right, let's see where we're at. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Oops. Okay, scroll down and go to. We're gonna go over to the far left side. Design. Um, it's uh, we're going to uh, this one right here. It starts with a B. Yeah, that's build. Build. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's see uh, who had said that. Uh, Jane. So Jane, that word uh, instead of saying build, build. Okay, we use a short I sound. B, build. Build. Please repeat build. that. Build. 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 Yeah, good. Nice. All right. So, um, what type of things can we build? Building. A building. Okay, a building. A house. Good. A house. Okay, factory. I live uh, oh, a factory. Shopping center. Shopping center. Uh, I live in an apartment. Okay, and you can definitely build uh, apartments. A mall. Okay, yeah, mall and, and shopping center are fairly closely related. So, yes, mall. Um, bridges, I see. Um, uh, that's an interesting one, Amr. Yes, you can build a company or build a firm. Now, we're not talking about physically building it, okay, but you uh, put all the pieces together. You invent the product or the service and you start the business you build a business from the ground up okay. like um like infrastructure uh yes like the uh the um um the figurative in infrastructure infrastructure can be physical and it can also be um uh it can also be uh, uh non non physical okay so not um goodness i lost i lost my word there but uh um not imaginary but uh not material Okay, so there's a physical uh, physical infrastructure where you're actually building a building, okay? Um, or you can talk about the infrastructure of a company, okay? Having certain people do certain jobs, okay? Um, and, and building the, the company the way that it works, the way that that, uh, that machine would work, uh, meaning a company, okay? Um, uh, hotels, bridges, good, okay? Now... Um, what uh, what sort of what sort of uh, materials or uh, tools would you need to build? Mm, uh, what a hammer? Good. Building machine. 
Um, the, the question is, uh, what kind of tools okay, or materials would you need to build something? Wood. Okay, uh, wood. Okay, we've said hammer. Iron. I see blocks, nails. Brick, brick. Okay, and Nina, tractor would be spelled with a uh, with a C. Okay, yes, uh, machines. Okay. Iron. Uh, iron. Yeah. Uh, iron. 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 Good. What uh, what other type of things? H how do you how do you uh, put iron together? So if you have iron here and iron here, okay, like, how uh, would you mold. seal that? Molding. Okay. Um, it, it's called weld. Okay, we weld. Uh, weld together metals. Okay, and that and the, and we weld those together. That it, it holds them together. Okay. All right. Um, what else? Oh, an engineer. Mohammed said yes. First, you need an engineer. Yes, <laughs> that's good because if you don't have an engineer, all right, it will be built I am engineer. incorrectly. Oh, you are an engineer. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Um, uh, uh, Tun says um, uh, cement. Yes, we would need cement. Uh, sometimes screws, a screwdriver, cables. Sand. Sand. Yeah, if you have, if you're uh, mixing the cement. Okay, good. All right. Um, you'll need the workers to do the work. Right. Um, very good. Uh, what was that? Oh, let's see. I did not get that. Can you type it in the uh, in the chat box for me? Um, steel and yes, iron. Well. All right, we'll see him. Yes, Mustafa, well. a screwdriver. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So we we've, we've talked a lot about the different words we can use with building. Okay, electrical wires as well. Excellent. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's check out our next word, and this is for Jessica. All right, and we uh, I believe it's uh, cutting hair. Okay, uh, we've already talked about cutting hair when we talked about the salon. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna move over. All right, how about this word right here? What's going on here? Deliver. Yeah, deliver. And what is he delivering? Pizza. Um, pizza. Deliver. Yes, pizza. pizza. Very good. Okay. So, class, what what kind of items can we have delivered? Mm. What kind of items? We say pizza. Flower. Flowers, yeah, very good. Okay. Hamburger. Uh, ham hamburgers, sandwiches, cargo. Now, what? Meal. What would be car uh, did you say meals? Mail. Oh, mail. Oh, good. Yes, mail. Okay. Uh, Takeout food. Um. Uh, the uh, Mohammed, the other person that cuts hair would be a uh, a stylist or a barber. Okay, uh, so yes, male. Um, how else? Uh, what other things can we deliver? How about um, packages? Uh, there is uh, there is Amr who says uh, deliver a class. Okay. Um, yes, that's uh, that's uh, that's definitely a way to uh, um, to use the word deliver. Okay, um, you can also deliver a song. Okay, so after a song is sung, someone can can say, "How did you like the delivery of the song?" That means how the song was sung. Okay, or how if we're talking about classes, how the class was delivered. Okay, um, certain certain words that were said. If you liked the material. Okay, things like that. That would be delivering a class. Okay, and also another word for that would be giving a class. Giving a class. Okay, uh, does that make sense? How we how we would use that word uh, deliver? 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can deliver a class. You can deliver a song. Deliver a baby. Aha! Yes, you can deliver a baby as well. All right, and and that doesn't mean that you're taking the baby and and taking it over to someone else, right? Are no. You <laughs> but you're 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 helping the baby out. Okay, that's called delivering the baby. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, could you repeat again to delivering? Delivering. Uh, de uh, delivering. Uh, what? Delivering a class? Deliver? Could you repeat again? I can't. I can't pronounce. Oh, oh, sure, sure, sure. It is pronounced deliver. De -li -ver. Deliver. Deliver. Good. One more time. Deliver. Deliver. Excellent. Thank you. There is okay. also um, like. Uh, we say to deliver, deliver uh, a criminal to the justice. Yes, yes. So if you are a police officer, uh, you can say, "Hey, I'm. I need to deliver the the criminal to the to the jail cell or something like that." Yes, um, delivering a person. Okay, that's that's good. We can deliver okay. documents as well. Deliver a lecture or a speech. You give it. Yes. You give it. Good, and that's the same as like a, delivering a class or delivering a song. It's usually done orally. Oral, okay, or orally means uh, with your mouth. Okay, oral means with your mouth. An oral uh, uh, argument, okay, a verbal argument. Okay, um, well, um, Vanessa, delivering yeah. a baby would mean uh, a doctor would help the baby uh, out, okay, out, uh, out, you know, of uh, of the uh, female, okay. So he actually, we call that delivering a baby. Um, we all we also say deliver deliver the baby from the kindergarten. Um, let's see, you can say that. Um, uh, to or from deliver the baby from from the kindergarten to the kindergarten. Yeah, if you're dropping. Uh, dropping the baby off, uh, deliver the baby uh, to the kindergartner, okay, uh, things like that. That would work, okay, or deliver, uh, um, yeah, so when you are dropping something or someone off, okay, that would be uh, a delivery. Okay, good, great job, you guys. A lot of really good, uh, good words here. Awesome. Okay, uh, let's check out uh, our next word. Oh, it looks like um, uh, Hangouts is uh, freezing on me. All right, let's see here. Okay, our next word, and this is for, I believe it's uh, uh, Mehmet. Yeah. Um, what's what's going on in this uh, in this next picture here? This picture's design. Okay, design. He designed. Excellent. He designed some mechanical parts. I think. Yeah, yeah. So you can definitely design mechanical parts. Yeah. Uh, what else can you design, class? Design a Car, map. Map. Okay, that's home. good. Okay. Uh, anything really that needs to be built. Before okay. Build, yeah. So uh, design. Uh, before it's built, it, you build it. It needs to be designed. Someone they have to know how um, how to put the things together. And so you have a designer. Okay. okay. Now that's with physical things. What about uh, what about uh, with uh, um, with technology? Okay. Do we have designers of technology as well? Yes, yes. Uh, I am kind of a uh, kind of Photoshop designer and infographist. Okay, good, good. Yes, so a Photoshop designer. Okay, uh, how else can we use the word designer as well? Electrical circuits. Okay, electrical circuits. Yes. Okay, yes, an electrical designer. Okay, also, good. Um, net network designer, computer network designer. Yes, networking. 
networking that is huge right now because there are are so many places that that are growing bigger and bigger and they need good networks okay mm, fashion. So fashion yes clothes yeah. you can design clothes all right that's a that's a really popular way to use the word designer also you can design a survey or policy okay yes you can design policy surveys or system okay a system okay good all right now what if you what if you said um, um, and we're not talking about a, uh, a particular design um, like a physical design but uh, you say uh, you say um, the uh, um, let's see well, well let's say if we're talking about a robbery okay so a robbery and the robbery went well they went in and they stole the diamonds and they uh, they uh, they broke out and uh, and the, someone says your design went off without a hitch okay so that would mean your design went off without a hitch or your design was perfect okay um, you're not necessarily talking about um, building something okay or putting something together but a plan that was in place okay so you can design how a robbery functions all right so that's a, that's another way to use that word okay awesome yeah we've got a whole lot of a whole lot of uh, uh, great answers over here on the side that's awesome nice job you guys okay let's go to our next word and this is for and I do apologize, but Hangouts is going extremely slow for me right now. So, Tablas, you are my next person. And let's go to yes. our next word. I'm going to scroll over. Scroll drive. Over and down. Okay, drive. Okay, and what is he driving right here? What does it look like he's driving? Maybe a school bus. Yeah, he's driving a, a school bus. Okay, you can also drive a city bus. Uh, what city other bus, type yeah. of uh, of uh, things can we drive? Plane, truck, Okay, yeah, you truck. can drive a car, a truck, a bus, a plane. We would not be able to drive. We fly. <laughs> oh, yes, we, we yeah, fly we a plane. We do not. We do not uh, drive a plane. We fly a plane. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, what else? Motorcycle. Um, let's see. I would uh, with a motorcycle. You would actually you would say that you ride. ride. Yeah, you yeah. ride a most yeah. motorcycle. You don't drive it. You ride it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes, you can drive a taxi as well because that's like a car. A All right. Subway. All right. Uh, subway. So the uh, subway train. Okay. Um, that would actually be conduct. Okay, and any type of train, you would conduct a train. Okay, so a subway, you would conduct a subway. All right, a bicycle, you would actually ride a bicycle. Okay, and uh, let's see, what other ways can we use the word drive that does not have to do with driving a type of vehicle? Like uh, driving a conversation. Okay, driving a conversation. Yeah, that means that you keep the conversation moving along. Right? How about uh, you drive me crazy? Yes. Okay. Oh man, you drive me crazy. Stop talking. All right. That's a that's a good way to use that word. Drive me crazy. Okay. That means you're making me crazy. How else can we use the word drive, class? What do you think? Teacher? Yes. What's the difference? Uh, driver driving a uh, driver and or uh, driving crazy or make a crazy. Uh, it would mean the same thing. If you say, man, you drive me crazy or man, you make me crazy. It's uh, it's the same same thing. Okay, it means the same. So you Okay, are making me crazy or you are driving me crazy. So whatever you are doing, okay, makes me crazy. 
<laughs> All right. So um, now, if you drive someone crazy, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Sometimes, if a uh, if a uh, a woman is very beautiful, okay, and she comes up to you and she talks to you, and you're like, "Wow, she's so beautiful! I can't do this." You could say, "Man, she drives me crazy." Okay, that would be a good crazy, but it would be like, "Wow, crazy in love" type thing, right? Okay, um, but uh, but if uh, it, then we have the bad crazy where someone actually makes you mad, like, "Oh, you drive me crazy." drive me mad okay how else can we use the word drive hmm how else any other ideas could you repeat again oh. question uh, how else can we use the word drive um, you can drive in the traffic um, but driving, oh, okay, that would make sense. So if you are driving traffic, you that would mean that you are directing it, okay? So you're guiding um, it from there one is, uh, place like, to um, another. There is like another meaning for driver, which is often used in, um, in softwares, like uh, you must get this driver in order to get this software running. So here driver uh, means like a plugin that must be must be yeah, installed in order that the software can can like can uh, can can use it properly. Yeah, and that would that would be uh, dealing with the computers, you know, the hard drive, okay, a driver or a uh, plug-in, okay. Good, exactly. Um, and yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty good. Awesome. All right, you guys. So we are uh, driving the herd as well. Yes, that means that you're guiding. That's, uh, that's similar to driving traffic, okay? So you can drive traffic to a certain website, okay? That's a one way of saying it. Uh, you can drive traffic to a store, okay? That means people. You are driving people to go to it. So, uh, for example, Verbling a while ago, they were trying to drive traffic to Verbling to get more students, all right? And so they, uh, they were doing certain types of promotions and things like that. Okay, uh, thank you everybody for, for coming to class. Um, later tonight, we'll be going through the rest of these words, okay, I, I believe, if we can make it through. Um, but uh, yes, it was, it was great seeing uh, a lot of new faces as well as some familiar ones, okay? All right, take care and have a uh, great morning, night, or afternoon, wherever you're at. Thank take you, care. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, Chisha, for the class. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. See ya. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher.